Hey guys, if you're looking to know how to paint using a spray gun like this, then I'll show you how straight after this introduction. using a spray gun like this you will need a few more things than you will do if you're going to be spraying using the rattle cans again you can still always use a plastic primer to prepare but with the color if you want it to come out a bit better a bit more neater then you're going to have to choose the color I'm going to be doing one of the mirror cuts in this nice bright pink so you can see it one of them is going to be in the original color that it's supposed to be in here we've got the um, 2k lacquer this is what I'm going to be using. This is a 2K, which means it has to be used. This is um, a two part, so it uses hardener, which is over here. Let me just grab that for you. So this and this go together. You can get any of them. They're all just as good as each other. You would need something to mix it in. I've got measuring cups that have meals on. When you're mixing this, say if you're going to make up some, you need to figure out how much you want. So if you're going to go with 200, with the um, clear lacquer, then you want to go to 300 with the hardener, and then you can add a little bit of thinness to make it 350 if you want to thin it down, but I tend to not thin it down, there's no point. Inside my gun, I have filters which cleans everything, which is really good. You always want, say, like lollipop sticks to stir, make sure none of the stuff comes off in there if you can. I've got cleaning stuff that I use to clean my gun once I've finished. This is also very essential. Make sure that you've got blue roll, or some sort of form of paper to wipe stuff down because you all have spillages. Another key important thing to use is always wear gloves because you don't want to be getting that all over your hands. This is the finish that I use here. It's just a standard finish. You can use, they say you can use the proper stuff, but standard finish works just as good, which you will find out very shortly. When, when you're preparing to do stuff, you want to wipe it down with something like this, which is a nice panel wipe. So this is a panel wipe here, it's, um, as you can see they're not cheap, once you've got them they do quite a few jobs. This is just gets off any grease that's going to be on there. Another really important thing that you're going to need when you're painting outside, even if it is outside, because I don't have a spray booth, I'm going to show you that the finish is going to be just as good um, painting outside as it is if you paint inside a spray booth, and especially on small things, if you're going to do something bigger then I suggest you get one. This mask is so important, please make sure you wear a mask because it is so dangerous. These have all got toxic stuff in there. There's always something. This is very dangerous to use without a mask, the clear coat. So make sure you wear a mask, guys, okay? It's a must have. First thing you need to do before painting anything is preparation. So this white is what you're gonna to need to use for painting anything. Let's just put some in here. Let's get it nice and wet and clean. Any muck and grease off where you're going to paint. This is going to be primed again, just kind of wipe everything that you need until it's nice and dry from dust and dirt. And then, once that's done, you won't have any muck or rubbish in it. The second stage is using a tack rag, this is like a sticky rag. It gets off any bits of dust. I'm going to go over everything with this. Like so, and the same with this. Like that. Now it's ready for primer. When using primer, you must make sure that you're shaking this can up really, really well. You want to hear the ball in there, stirring it up. Shake it for at least two or three minutes, making sure that all the primer, I've already shaken this up already, is all done. Like I said with the um, sticky thing, I stuck this and then when you're spraying, you can hold it as you spray and then you can get into all the gaps, which is really good. We're just going to show you how to do it.
Now that that coat is already done and it's on, we'll wait for that to just tack off. The way to tell if it's dry is just feel on here on the overspray when it's dry. When it's touched dry, then you're ready to add your colour. If you're doing any painting, you've got to make sure that your spray gun is clean and free from any dirt. This is the filter that I put in mine. It looks like this. It just pops in the top there. I'll show you how to put it together. You want to put your pin in there first, and that's in. Then you want to add the regulator, which is just regulating the airflow that goes into the... Oh, sorry, spring first. Then you want to put this in. Make sure it's nice and level, just do it up tightly. But now you can adjust all these air flows and get the flow right once you've done. And then the next thing you want to add is a nozzle. Once that's done up, you just want to tighten it with the tool that it comes with. This gun is like 24 pounds and it comes out really good. Once you've done that, this is what you want to clean them with, like a little toothbrush. You get these to get in all the gaps because you want to make sure that these little pinholes are really, really clean. This then goes on. Once this is on and level, you make sure it's nice and tight. And then you want to add the lid. Here's the lid. The lid just screws down like this. There's also a top here. You always want to make sure that this hole is free from any muck because that will stop the, the spray coming out properly. And then this little tiny lid, which is the breather, goes on there. Now you're ready to add the paint. I'm going to be showing you in this video how to spray metallic and then um, also how to spray a solid colour. I've already pre-mixed um, the paint as you can see here. It's mixed 50-50. Um, it's uh, cellulose paint. Half of it is mixed with thinners. Just going to add it to the gun quickly. The gun is all set up. If you want um, to know how to set the gun up, it comes with the instructions. It's quite simple. It's, um, it's not brain surgery, literally. So you'll know when it, when it comes out right and what it looks like. It takes a little while to perfect the spray gun. Right, here it goes. I'm going to base this um, mirror cover. Here you can adjust how much comes out. Right, now I'm going to paint the metallic one. Again, you just can mix that again with 50-50. Um, so just one part paint and then exactly the same amount with thinners. Pour that into the gun. This is a metallic finish. And I'll show you how to paint that. Like I say, it's all set up, ready to go, so let's go. Next stage is mixing the lacquer. I'm going to take this up to 200. You know what, that's probably too much.
Right, so I'm going to take that up to 150. And then with the hardener, I'm going to take it to 250. Like so. Mix it up really well. And then that is ready to go straight into the gut. So let's quickly do that. When you're going to lacquer something, what you want to make sure is that you literally just give it one sort of dust coat and then the next coat that you give it is just going to be like a nice thick coat and that's all it's going to need because this is this lays on really thick if you keep going and keep adding layers and then it's just going to run everywhere and that's not what you want so i'll show you how to do that that is all you need to lacquer it. I'm going to show you in another video how to polish these so that you know how to get them nice and shiny because lacquer once it goes dry it kind of tends to go a little bit dull. This is the finished product guys. Lacquered. No runs.